the other thing your book very bravely and i say brave only because of the environment sometimes we are surrounded by where they talk about sex as a taboo topic um right. pregnancy and sex um and your regular sex life is always uh, addressed and it's like many women like it's off limits for so many women uh in the 9 month train that they go through in the 9 month duration of their pregnancy you yourself spoke about how you lost your sex drive and you know your husband was very um understanding through those days now what is it the notions that surround a sex life during a woman's pregnancy and and then what does a woman feel herself can you expand on that and express to everyone watching today you know i think that again people just feel like okay i mean you know if when you're pregnant they don't realize the kind of like you said you know moods emotions feelings what you actually feel about yourself you know that's so important right some days i would feel super like amazing and sexy and feel like oh my god i'm looking so you know like hot with this belly yeah. and i feel amazing and like you know i would tell self that that you know i'm right. feeling really amazing or or he would say you know like you're looking beautiful but there were times i can you know post sex like, like 7 months where i felt like like i of course i was exhausted and i couldn't get myself you know to like get yeah. up sometimes in the morning yeah. but sometimes you're just like you know I, it's just just a feeling of repulsion you know you're just like yes. in a mental state where you just you know don't know what to think right and it's so like i said it's so important to have a supportive man and yes. most men should not put pressure on their wives to a yeah. look beautiful while they're pregnant yes. b feel they're any less yes. than you know exactly. like they're not pregnant that pressure shouldn't be there or the fact that you know this is it and our regular sex life has to be completely like super active it's it it has to be according to the way what the woman feels right. and what she's feeling at that minute and right. if your husband doesn't understand that then how can he be the father of your child how can he probably not i mean you know he has to love you in every form aspect every way so yeah. i i just feel that you know it also it's a topic that probably you know i've written in the book because most women feel scared to talk about it yes yes you know they no. don't or embarrassed to address it here's what really really impressed me about the book is that i think for the first time um in a very long time i read i've read autobiographies that have been brave i had people you know talk about their lives in their memoirs but i think it's very critical it's very critical for men and women to read your pregnancy bible because it really takes you through a journey and it's a very inclusive journey and that's what i loved most about it because i felt like it gave me as a reader a viewer into your pregnancy durations for both your babies uh, it yeah. talked about your highs your lows your mid levels of of emotion it talked about your fears your insecurities and your happiness and joy as well there's a lot of joy in the book there's so much joy yeah. but there's also those deep dark areas that women go through and from what mm -hmm. i understand karina what you're basically the crux of what you've told us so beautifully um is that it's so individualistic and every decision has to be yours because you are the master and mistress of that decision you know whether yeah. it comes to your breastfeeding it comes to your personal sex life it comes to your decision to opt for a cesarean or not whether it's advised or not by the doctor it's your own whether you choose to be active you choose to be inactive you choose to i mean you can only say like yes you recommend a dietitian yes you recommend a trainer but if you can't for various reasons not not have those at by your side yeah. then you have to do what's best for yourself and lot, and what you what my last question really in this turf is that like, how do you block all the noises because there is everybody has advice to give when it comes to pregnancy you know yeah. it's your family your friends everybody will tell you how to how to handle this or handle that do this do that go there go there how do you block that noise and do your own thing how does karina kapoor khan do that i think that you know i mean i am the kind of person that anyway i think you know i listen to everybody and i take it out from the other ear suno so sabki karo aap Huh. that is the way i i live my life i i i've done that even when everyone was like like oh my god why are you doing this why are you getting married or why are you doing this why are you like even, oh my god now she's going to have another baby then another baby and and you know me i just hear everybody and i'm just like okay this is it i want to do what i want to do and i think every woman pregnant or not pregnant should think 
in this way. Of course, it's a pregnancy Bible, but I also believe that even post delivery, every woman should she should just be the way she wants to be, guilt free, yes. breastfeeding like you addressed, going to work, which even I go through. I think it should just just be fearless because that's be the way fearless. I am and I've lived my life. I'm